Hi everyone, this is Shu Allegra again, founder of Grace and Hope Consulting, and I am still interviewing women who are making histories, and their moms, their sisters, their workers, their professionals, their teacher, like the, a lot of the women I'm interviewing are doing great things in this world. And today is no different. I have Kelly with me. Uh, Kelly, would you mind just now introducing yourself and let the audience know who you are? Yeah, my name is Kelly Kane. Um, I live outside of Pittsburgh, PA. Um, I am a mom of three children. Uh, my youngest is on the autism spectrum, and I am currently director of the Autism Caring Center, which is a nonprofit located in Pittsburgh. Um, we were founded in 2017, along with another um, autism mom. Her name's Heidi, and um, we found a gap in services in the area, and we wanted to fulfill that gap. So currently, we host free events. Um, for families. We host free support groups and we provide professional training and advocacy. And those two items are also free. Um, we found that to be the biggest challenge for families in our area. Um, so that's why we created the center. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. That is yeah. awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Both as a professional and a parent, I know that's needed. So thank yeah. you for the work you do. So why yes. do you do this? I mean, obviously, having I'm, I have three kids, and I know life is hectic with three kids, no matter if you had a diagnosis or not, right? So, yeah. you know, life right. is busy, and, you know, it has its challenges, but you're still doing all this meaningful work. Like, what, why do you do this? What makes you want to do this? What inspires you, motivates you to do this? Um, I don't know how else to put it. it it's just who I am. Mm. It's just, I have no other words for it. I've tried to think about it. And when my son was diagnosed and I had to learn to me, which was like learning German, like learning a different language. And he was my youngest. So he was supposed to just join the party of five and let's all get moving. Mm -hmm. um, and they, none of this is going to happen. This isn't going to happen. And he's our only son. Um, not that if we would have had another son, if it would have made a difference, but you know, it just was like, I got to figure this out. Mm -hmm. I got to figure this out for him. I'm raising a man. I'm raising my only son. And this has to work, you mm -hmm. know? And that was my determination. And then when I realized that I did know what I was doing, I thought, why not pass it along? Mm -hmm. why, why hold this information? Why not go help somebody? Why not consult with a mother? Why not jump in? Um, mm -hmm. It became my honor to be his mother. It became my honor to be part of these families' lives that allow mm -hmm. us to assist them. And it just feels good. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, you have to do what makes you happy. And I really get joy from this. It really is just part of who I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. I mean, it, you know, all of us, we do these things, um, obviously, like you said, we've mm -hmm. been through it and we're still going through it, but we learn enough that we you know we can share with others. And it's, yes. it's wanting others not to be alone, wanting others not to struggle as much as we did, <laughs> you know, then we right. start this journey. So right. you know, I, I really, so, I respect that. Yeah. Yeah. So th that's my why. And before I had the Autism Caring Center, I was part of the Autism Notebook magazine which if you have your listeners out there that you can get online and look at. Mm -hmm. um, it is distributed in Florida, I believe still in Pittsburgh, but I know there's digital editions and they are free and there's a lot of great resources in there. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was with that publication, I was part of a free conference. And mm -hmm. I don't know about where you live, but a lot of the conferences you're charged uh, to yeah. go to. Mm -hmm. And who can take time off of work mm -hmm. when you have <laughs> a family to support and then on top of that, you have to pay to go <laughs> to these conferences. And I just didn't add up to me. So why can't we collect the information? Why can't we provide it professionally? We're the moms, we understand it, we live it, mm -hmm. we can explain it, um, we can advocate for you know, our own probably better than somebody else. And why charge them? You have this information, give it to them. They're, they're struggling. Usually most of these families are struggle, struggling. Mm -hmm. They're not double income. So mm -hmm. it was really important for the services to be free. 
that conference was well attended and um, well needed. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's really important for the information to get out there to the families. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And I, 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 I never heard of the Austin Noble Connections, although I know a lot of things and resources all about Austin. So just yes, actually it's the, Google yeah, it as you spoke. And I'm like, oh, this is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was part of that publication for about three years. Um, and then I moved in a different direction. Um, mm -hmm. It's Autism Notebook Magazine. I believe they have a Facebook page. I know mm -hmm. they're in South Florida this year. Um, and I think that she still distributes in the Pittsburgh area, but it is national. You can get online and find that link. Right. Um, as well as the Autism Caring Center, you can get on our website too and see um, what we're doing there. Right. So with your service being free, which I, I, I totally hear you, it's, it's hard for families because a lot of families are are not dual income family because somebody has to stay one of the you no know, if it's if, if it's a two home two parent home one most likely has to stay you know and take care of the family and do all the therapy all the appointments and be there for yes. the kids and yes. um and it makes it hard and then for so and even for those of us who work we can't always work as much as we want to or could have because again we have you no know, family comes first and we invest so much you no know, time and energy into our family so Right. I, I totally appreciate that your services for the Autism Care Center is free. But then how do you fund the services? It's like, and, 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 you know, only share what you're comfortable sharing, but like, who are your supporters? Who, who are the people who are, you know, supporting this mission to move forward so that you can continue to offer it as a free service? Right. So all of it, everything is privately funded. We accept um, donations on our website mm -hmm. um, from corporations. We have one major event in, in August. It's called mm -hmm. Summer Fadeaway Festival. Okay. Um, it's in Pittsburgh as well. Um, it is um, founded by a father whose son has autism. And um, he wanted to raise money and give back. And every year he picks a charity. Yeah. to give back to in the last two years we've been selected to receive the funding from from that festival so mm -hmm. um it's a street fair um we do that one in august and then we do like time to donate just like little grassroots things mm -hmm. along the way um sometimes we get lucky and we get a private donation cup pop in on our website mm -hmm. um things like that we are a baby we're still getting started um yeah. but that's how we're able to go ahead and and provide these events. Um, the thing that I'm most proud of and one of the things Heidi and I um, love doing is a Mother's Day brunch. Um, we provide that um, every year. Um, mm. Well, I shouldn't say every year, but it will be every year. Um, it is May 4th this year. If you're mm -hmm. in the area, it okay. is free and we have a motivational speaker that will come and speak to these women. Um, you do not have to have a child with autism. Just any special needs mom can come. Mm -hmm. um, and it gives them a chance to, you know, when you, when you know, when you have a child with special needs, autism or not, you feel like you're on an island, right? You know, <laughs> you're yeah. home alone. I'm the only one out um, there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. You're on this island and mm -hmm. just to even be in the same room with 30 or 50 women that have the same thing. There's no words. You look at each other and you know, they know, and you yeah. can just sit there yeah. and relax and enjoy your meal and listen to somebody else that's been through it maybe win a raffle basket <laughs> you know just mm -hmm. enjoy your day for a couple minutes and not feel alone mm -hmm. um and that's our goal with the mother's day brunch we have fundraising events prior to that to support that effort as well mm -hmm. um and we've been lucky a lot of local stores um the one at the mall hobby prodigy is doing a, a fundraiser for us in April and all the monies from that will go ahead mm -hmm. and um, support our Mother's Day brunch. So, you know, once people understand your mission and why you're doing it, um, it takes a little bit for them to catch on, but the more it's explained, it, it makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> we're all in this together, really. So um, to provide the educational resources, the advocacy, the support, not just for the individuals with autism, but for the families, Mm -hmm. It has to be done. It it has to be done, no matter what the sacrifice. I, I it's just it's just who I am now. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't before, but it is now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> these kids will change your lives. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. And the table the better. Honestly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So well, honored to be part of it all. Yeah. 
So in addition to, you know, being a mom and running a nonprofit, uh, you also co-author a book, you know, with a woman that yes. I got, I had the, pl the privilege of interviewing. And um, so it's the same book I talked about for people watching, you know, probably the pre few previous interviews. Um, it's going to be all right. You know, it's uh, stories yes. of moms who have children with autism who are sharing their journey to give people, you know, to give over families hope and encouragement. So without giving out too much of your story that you put in the book, okay. um, can you just share maybe briefly what you wrote about and it's made a big idea and then what is the takeaway what are you, what was your hope in writing that book what do you want to leave with the readers the readers as they read your story in the book um hope um i was uh, just a little bit of a backstory i was a late comer i was asked to be part of it and i thought oh I don't know. I've never written anything before. I'm not sure I can do this. Oh, am I, am I exploiting him? Oh, like I had, I went through all the mom things first. Mm -hmm. And then my daughters who were older actually said, mom, you got to do it. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be validating for Clayton. Mm -hmm. It'll be a keepsake for him. You know, it'll be for him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's so much my story, but it's definitely his. Right. And I, I want to leave that mom that has a new diagnosis or is in the middle of it or just thinking, you know, we're getting up the hill and we're never going to get over it. We're never going to reach that mark. Um, there's hope. And he, in his story and what he was able to accomplish, um, it's been amazing to watch. And um, I don't take the credit for it. Um, mm -hmm. I, I drove him everywhere. I took him to all the therapies, but he did that work. Did not me. work. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I was glad to be as his mom to be able to tell what I believe is more his story, not mine. Mm -hmm. But um, it, that's what I would say my story is about. It's more about his journey than mine mm -hmm. um, to this point. So, yeah, awesome. and I'm excited to see what's coming for him. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. how old is he now? Um, actually, he's going to be 16 on Monday. So, oh, happy uh, yeah, birthday yeah. <laughs> to him. Yeah, he's, um, he's, he's so, you know, you just love your kids no matter what. Yeah. But yeah. Um, he's, he's overcome a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe that nine years ago he didn't speak. And wow. now he's speaking, you know. So mm -hmm. there's just a lot that they come through that you're like, are you talking and you're saying that? Like, so there's just a lot that, um, that he's been through. So, yeah. 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 So what are some of the things that he's into these days? Um, typical teenager stuff. Exactly. Um, yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah. He's into gaming. Um, he does have a couple friends that he hangs mm -hmm. out with. Um, mm -hmm. he said, it, you know, in autism fashion, as I say, I asked him if he wanted to get his driver's license and he said, I don't really want to go anywhere. So <laughs> he doesn't really have a need to leave the house. Mm -hmm. So we were just like, so it's not like the typical milestones that you'll have with the other kiddos mm -hmm. chomping at the bit to go get their driver's license or their permit, mm -hmm. but um, it'll come in time um, yeah. just like everything else has. So yeah, real proud of him. Yeah. Really and like you said, you know, we, uh, he's, Oh, and when I asked that uh, question, is to point out that you know they're just typical kids as well. They have the they go for some of the same things. So he loves to game like you know any typical sixty-year-old boy, right? And, yeah. um, and and you know having a few friends to hang out, maybe not a large you know crowd of friends, but just two, and that's okay. And in these days, in these days, that's all they ever have anymore. It seems nor more normal to only have two or three than that big gang of friends, right? Because mm -hmm. of social media and they mm -hmm. have different ways to connect. So sometimes I don't feel like he's that far behind that way. So right, um, right, yeah. yeah. And then it's it's also you no know, sometimes healthier to have two stable friends than have twenty friends who pretend to be there and are not there. You know, yeah. hence the whole social media thing, right? You can have five thousand friends on Facebook, but you know, yeah. who are truly your friends? You know, so yeah. right, yeah. It's it's really been a pleasure um, mm -hmm. to watch him grow. It really yeah. has been, yeah. and I'm I'm excited for him. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for yeah. sharing his story and for sharing you know your story and the work that you were doing. You know, thank to support you families and definitely you know we'll share the link um to the autism uh, center. Ca autism yes. caring center it's yes, www.autismcaringcenter.com okay. and for those interested in the autism notebook magazine 
it's www.autismnotebookmagazine.com. Awesome. Yeah. And we'll share both those links there. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. For all you do. And for anyone listening, you know, we'll share the links, but also remember we're all in this together. So yes. And I, yes. Time. If you live in the Pittsburgh area, you can volunteer or if you no, know, if you live anywhere else in the world, you can, all of us can pitch in and, you know, support such a worthy cause. Yeah. Yes, and if you're interested in learning about autism or if you're a newly diagnosed family or in the middle of things, the book, it's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. I needed it. I mm -hmm. needed it 15 years ago. Um, and this is, this is it. This is the book to get. Mm -hmm. um, this is the one that's going to, I'm sure it's going to pave the way for other books like it um, mm -hmm. because it, they really did a nice job with it. I'm really proud to be a part of it. Yeah, oh, so yeah, I will post the link for that as well. But yeah, and I, I even say with the other women, ladies I interview, I said, I wish this book was available when, you know, I needed it, <laughs> you know, and oh, so, yeah, for doing that. And then we all, you know, we all learn, and now we're, you know, helping others kind of go through the process a little smoothly and a little, you know, faster or more efficiently than we did. Um, and right, that, you know, that's it's the beauty of it, you know, we all go at it at different levels at different times, but it's nice when we can use what we learned along the way to help others. Right. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. So much. Thank Kelly. you. Yeah. Thank you, you take care. It was so nice talking with you. Same here. Enjoy your day. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.